Hey, congratulations. Obviously, a hard-fought victory for you tonight in the main event. Um, Thank you. You got it. I know you're going to want to go watch it and break it down and all those things, but as you sit there right now, how do you feel about your performance tonight? First of all, bismillah. I feel good. That's why uh, that was the top uh, three ranked uh, flyweight in the world, and I got the win against him. I went five rounds, so I know I can go with these guys for five whole rounds, and I know I'm ready for the title. So I just want to go on to the next one, get my belt, and keep, keep climbing, keep becoming the king that I know I am. Were you surprised that maybe his uh, defensive grappling was as good as it was? Uh, you know, I think a lot of people thought your wrestling would dictate what happened here. Instead, it was a lot of stand-up. Yeah, I wanted to test myself against him. You know, uh, I felt like still my grappling, if I would continue more, I would take him out. But I wanted to stand, like test my stand-up against him. They come from a great team with a great stand-up. That's what he's known for, that right hand. And uh, I wanted to put him out. I felt like every time I punched him in the face or did anything, he went back. I felt like I was putting more pressure. I was making the fight actually happen. So that's why I got the win. I think it was the second round. You kind of put your hands down and, you know, were showing off a little bit there, having some fun. What, what did the corner say when you got back there? Were they uh, happy with you in there? <laughs> or did they say, hey, maybe keep your hands up? Yeah, 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 especially in the first round. I was having too much fun. I like to fight in the end of the day. I'm Iraqi, we're famous, we like to fight, so I was just having a bit too much fun out there. I didn't really follow my game plan. The choke, did you think you uh, had the fight done? Mm, I felt like still I could have done some other adjustments, but if I get him in that position again, I know I'm going to take his head off. Dana was in here earlier and he said, look, I don't really want to commit to anything right now. We've got to let the title fight play out. Uh, Brandon Royval was on Twitter tonight saying, hey, I think I should be next. I'm already the backup. I don't know. What do you think? I know you're coming in, you said, I want that title shot. Do you feel like tonight was enough to get the title shot? Yeah, definitely. I got the win against the number three in the world. Who else is it? Who else is above him? You know, it's Pantoja, Moreno, and I don't know what's going on with Davis and Figueredo. It seems like he doesn't want to fight in flyweight. So I'm the next one for the title. Brandon Royval, we were booked. And he pulled out, out of the fight. I don't know what really happened. So it doesn't make sense that he goes before me and gets a title shot. Right, so last thing for me, knowing that you're going to kind of wait to the summer to maybe see what happens. What's the plan? Is it back to the gym right away? Is this time off? I know you've been through a battle. So what's the plan for you? I'm back already on Monday. We're back training, you know. Um, I live now here in Vegas. I took over Vegas. So I'm just back, back working again, getting better, and you're going to see even a better version of the Prince next time. Prince, congrats on the win. Um, it's one thing to emulate it and, you know, training with the team, Coach Cooper, but how did it feel being in the fourth and fifth, some new territory for you as compared to what you trained for? Feels normal. We train very hard at uh, BK MMA, you know. So I've been doing five rounds like nothing with new guys back to back. So to be honest, going five rounds was nothing. I just had a bit more time to have fun. That's it. I didn't feel like that I was getting, you know, extra tired or was. Of course, it's different. It's about a longer fight, but I don't mind at all. The way you were able to come forward and apply that pressure, were you surprised that there wasn't too much coming back your way? We know Kai's a counter-punching, but he really didn't, you know, you put him in a box kind of. Yeah, exactly, definitely. I felt like I thought he going to do a bit more, bring some more out, but he wasn't doing so much. I kind of like start going and start getting my rhythm in, start, start getting my timing in, and I felt like I could knock him out. That's why I kept the fight standing. Excellent. Congrats on the big win. Thank you so much.